What's up people and welcome to a new game, Earth Story. This is going to be a rather short game and for people who are, who are fans and know of the game To The Moon should get familiar with this game because it's from the same creator and it's already kind of been known that there is going to be a sequel to To The Moon, so To The Moon 2 and this game is actually kind of a prologue to To The Moon 2 so it's kind of you can view it as a story in between to the moon 1 and to the moon 2 so sort of a to the moon 1.5 in a sense i believe the protagonist in this game is going to be the patient in to the moon 2 there's a lot of to the moon in my explanations but yeah that's just what the game is called but it's from the same creator and as you can already hear the, the music of this game is already so amazing I can't wait for this game to blow me away basically. So yeah, let's begin. Let's begin the journey. Alright, left mouse escape space and enter. Oh my god, those are the best bed sheets ever. Like it's been knitted by grandma, you know? Backwards? I thought we were collecting they're like pieces of paper. It's like we're traveling back in time. You can see the clocks travel backwards as well. The paper airplane.
Rusty Jr. the teacher's butt what the root of 1764 is cat what no I, I didn't do it I'm innocent Teacher's mean. We can't even move. She's gonna come running towards us with the ruler. Because all the other characters are like shadows, they're they're faceless, so let's see if we can actually check inside the lockers. No, we should probably follow the bunch of ghost shadows. Just keep going, man. Who cares what the teacher says? I mean, we already got kicked out of... What? Got kicked out of class anyway. Might as well rebel the, the entire way. Nobody wants to play with us. swing I kind of thought we, we were collecting our shadows in a way uh, like we we're retracing our steps but they just reappear if we walk over them but I guess it kind of is like retracing our steps so here we were talking to ourselves Outsider, just in everything with school. So kind of seems like a loner, probably by by you know by will. He just doesn't like other people. Not that other people doesn't like him. Awkward. The elevator encounters where you know you're just stuck in that small box of a room with that person for even if it's just five or ten seconds. What if they tr turn out to be a really crazy person, you know? To just think that you were in the same room, tiny ass room as that person. Kind of frightening to think about. Mom, I'm home. Never mind, 
gotta live on my own. I don't need mom anymore. Could have sworn it said mom and dad at the bottom. So perfect. Who's here in the corner? Something was wobbling. So this is our our bedroom. It's a two-person bedroom. You can turn on the, the light. And turn it off again. <laughs> I love the way he sneaks around in. <laughs> oh, nobody's home. That's totally me. Okay, so we are. I was kind of confused whether we were a little kid or we were wa living alone, but the kind of the two person bed gives it away. And that moment when he sneaks, just goes in the parents' room and then, you know, checks if, checks if the coast is clear. And then, obviously, because your mom and dad's bed is so much better than your own, you're gonna jump on it. Because as a kid, you just love jumping on beds. Right, I should have remembered that this was my room. Alright, we're hungry, we should make some food. Yeah, watching Tom and Jerry with a bowl of cereal. But we should really get back to our homework. Like a good son is supposed to. So MC squared equals oh no never mind E equals MC squared. Oh I failed already. His obsession with paper airplanes. I mean, previously, paper airplanes were, for me personally, were only associated with like those annoying kids in class that, that throw paper airplanes at other people and that kind of stuff. But he actually puts a good spin on it, you know? Bullseye. You'd kind of think that a bookworm is, wouldn't be athletic, but that was quite an arm. And accuracy, the way we hit. the parents but the bed seems to have been used because it's been undone so are we like one of those kids with parents who are workaholics that just work the entire time that just you know what 
I've been fortunate enough that for myself that that hasn't been the case, but you just sometimes in TV series or whatever where parents, you, they just barely even see their kids because they put work first and at that point I kind of question why do you even have kids? Because the only, the only way he apparently communicates with his parent and it's a one-way conversation is with these notes. Uh, did you forget something? Our school bag, I think. I wasn't sure what that was, but it's a school bag. Can't forget the backpack. Oh, the book too, of course. Can't leave without the book. Ah. Make our own breakfast slash lunch. <gasps> Muffin! Oh yeah. Got three muffins. It's gonna rain. We should take the umbrella. Thanks mom. Thanks dad. Don't remember what you look like anymore. Man, that kid next to us is a real pain in the ass. He's gonna steal our paper airplane again. I know it. <laughs> she kicked us out. Okay, well. Physical abuse is apparently allowed for teachers to quote unquote disobedient kids. I mean, we're just taking a nap. We do sleep a lot, apparently, because we slept the entire night while we were making our homework. Jumping puddles, oh yeah! Oh, this is the most fun thing ever. Yeah. I mean, I I didn't like rain as a kid, but this is one of the uh, definitely one of the upsides as a kid, or from the rain. So just jump in puddles. Oh, we can even jump over that. Oh yeah! Can we go on the slip and slide? smoking what's that a badger it's time to do badger and get out of here get yeah I won the battle I'm level two now I saved your birdie Saw the way the bird flapped his wings, that's his way of thanking us. Oh, don't worry. 
I won't hurt you. Can we... We should try and get close to the bird. Oh, he's keeping an eye on us. I can't get too close. Alright, I guess not then. No! Oh my god! Did we throw a backpack at him? What? <laughs> it won't let us go back there. The tree is like... You shall not pass. It's leading us a certain way. You can only go here. Oh, what's this? An animal hospital? Animal shelter? Don't put him in the mailbox. That's that's cruel. So we'll, we'll keep the bird. I mean, he rescued him. We rescued him, and he jumped into our backpack. So that legally makes us the owner, I guess. I guess we are the weirdo. <laughs> yep. Today we are the weirdo in the elevator. There's always one weirdo in the elevator. Today we were... We were it. I love how he watches around the corner like peeks in the room. Wait, what's on the wall? Oh, turn on the lights. There's a letter. I miss you. 
Screw you and your electricity bill. that he wouldn't you know <laughs> it's always the humane thing to offer the pet freedom or the pet that you rescued the animal it's the humane thing to do right you know please go if you want you always see that in the dramatic movies like go go and then you kind of push push him away and then you, you hope that the animal doesn't do it but in this case it's like the bird it's like oh open window I'm going there Grab the umbrella. Is there an umbrella here? I have no idea what we just grabbed. Oh, it's thirsty. I thought it was gonna rain, silly me. That's where we grabbed our bucket. Filled it with water. Come, Birdie. I'm gonna call it Tweety. Food, right, of course. Don't worry, I didn't poison the water, Tweety. At least not with poison that will kill you. It'll just paralyze you. Oh, bread, yeah. Birds love bread. The older the bread, the better. Well, that's what we keep telling ourselves so that it doesn't feel like we throw away new bread. Because that would be kind of wasteful. No! Where did he go? Ah, uh, you sneaky little Tweety. <laughs> Don't worry, we're just playing hide and seek. Alright, split the bread in half. Oh, into four pieces. Pretty awesome, he has a balcony on his side of the house. That would normally be on like the parents side of their house, I'm assuming, or attached to their room. And I would love to have a balcony. birds
Aww. It seems like the bird can't fly. One of its wing is, wings are is busted. It's injured, I think. so sad you could just tell the way that he looked at the other birds who were just free to fly away huh is it morning already thinks the bird where's my breakfast something you should try yourself at home but that was cool oh there's a car now we should knock can you help save my injured bird buddy this one. Put the bird's wing in a cast. Thank you, sir. <laughs> we took the bird. Free Tweety, run! Stay away from me, Warren. Don't take my Tweety away. Mm. 
its wing is actually partially in a cast. to think about because flying is something that comes naturally to a bird right and then when you just see a bird that probably could fly before and then at the moment can't fly anymore just how that must feel I can't even imagine to just something that's so natural and that every other thing like you so every other bird or every other human just does it naturally and then you just suddenly can't do it anymore god that, that must suck so bad supposed to pass it to each other come back Tweety Tweety it's not a cat I don't know why I'm making that noise become such good friends you know this is one of those unlikely friendships I mean a human and a bird who would expect that oh, who splashes the most oh damn it 2-2 two, two. He's winning! Damn it! Oh, we lost! I just sneezed, don't worry! I don't have bird flu! Damn it! This is like the human dog equivalent of, you know, playing catch. Them with the bird. Oh my god. Showing it off to his classmates. It just keeps running away though. Not really running away, but just. Oh no. Oh, thank god. Here, Tweety, got you some ice cream. the duckies. Tweety, come back. Yes, let's do it. Let's play on the seesaw. No other human wanted to play with me before.
Yes, we did it, Tweety. Yes. Third time's the charm. Uh, we're looking for some bread. Gotta get me some bread, a loaf of bread. The middle one will do. Do we have to pay? Okay, we have to pay. We're a good guy, of course. Do we f oh, this is where we met him. Hey, it's another bird. Don't be scared of me. I'm like the bird hunter. If you've ever heard of the crocodile hunter, I'm the bird hunter. Although I don't hunt them, I rescue them. So I'm the bird rescuer. Sounds a lot less cool, but sounds heroic, I guess. square of paper Points is where to put it. Oh, yeah, the giant paper airplane. You and me, Tweety, we're gonna travel the world, we're gonna fly together. You and me make both of our dreams come true. works oh my god we can actually 
actually fly through the city. Can even go faster. Oh yeah, it's like a spaceship. Through the cities, the Himalaya mountains. We're gonna go everywhere, Tweety. or something when I went too far to the right bird's nest yeah I don't recall seeing one We brought him home to his mom and dad. This is our goal. Even on Hawaii, there are birds' houses. We're gonna visit every single bird in the entire world. You know, we just have a little meet and greet. Three more to go. Clouds, where is this? Wow, that looks so beautiful. Oh, the landscape kind of looks like a desert or Mars or something. The night sky is so beautiful. Too far. Where's the birdhouse in this one? Is it up high? I actually think it's down low. Isn't it? No, it's not over there. Here, birdhouse. It's gotta be up high then. I miss this. Oh well. We found it. There are eggs in it. Our very last one to go. This is kind of on the bottom. So I guess we just flew over it in the beginning. Landscape is so beautiful as well. Just in every every single place. Here you actually see kind of small villages.
around the world in a paper plane. Coming to you in theaters, 2015. Is it mommy? Or is it the doctor? I don't know you. Stop following me. She seems angry though. <laughs> She's after us. Trees, help me. Show me the path. Guide me back home. Faster than you, Shadow. Oh god. Time to see Mrs. Horrible Teacher again. Oh my god, they teamed up! Run! <laughs> Isn't this like the Benny Hill theme? <laughs> I'm just a duck. 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 Goose! Oh shit! <laughs> this isn't Mario! <laughs> Whoa. That guy looked like us. But then like our evil dark side. And perhaps our twin brother. You always have an evil twin. You may not know it. Your parents are hiding it. You always have an evil twin. I'm telling you. Look in the basement or in the attic somewhere. It's chained up. You know when your parents are acting sneaky? Bringing food upstairs sometimes? You're like, what are you doing up there? Okay, I watch way too much Simpsons. Back when there was actually any good, of course. It has actually become like a legitimate pet. Maybe the wound has healed. Or the bird is like, no, I don't want to be healed if it means that I'm going to have to leave you. It 
said that the bird had to stay at the... Pep Doctor? Alright, let's go Tweety. Another note. It's raining today. Come Tweety. Under my umbrella. Ella, Ella, Ella. Jump in a puddle. No, we're not in the mood. Oh, the, the light is broken. The traffic light. We know that this is where you belong, Tweety. All those precious memories. Us eating ice cream together. Watching TV. Me throwing paper airplanes and you running away with them. Us actually making human friends who would play with me on the seesaw. All of these good things that you have brought into my life. No! You're not taking my Tweety Bird! Run! Oh my god. Don't take it. The only good thing in my life away from me. Don't you dare. Peace out, bitches! Oh no. There's thunder and storm. But we can survive anything, Tweety. As long as it's you and me together. Together forever. No! No! I can dodge it. No!
Tweety? Where are you, Tweety? No. Oh my god. Our book, the pages, are all scattered. Our backpack. Where is he? <gasps> no! Don't take him away! Hello. All the kids are actually waving at me right now. Like, they're being nice to me. But it doesn't feel the same. Not without Tweety. where we found him. Oh my god, all these memories. This is not how it's supposed to go. You can just feel that something is missing. Hmm. <laughs> 
Aww. He still puts water there in case he does come back. This is so sad. Day after day, and days turn into weeks, weeks into months. Is that you? Tweety, look outside. Oh my god, it's Tweety! He's back! Oh, that's the other bird! me to take off the the bandages listen you're all Bird, you take good care of my Tweety, okay? <gasps> A paper airplane! My god, be free, Tweety. You deserve to be free. Farewell, good friend.
kind of, as I mentioned in the beginning, it kind of feels like it's one part of... Because in Into the Moon, you travel backwards in into the patient's memories to try and find out why he wants to fulfill his dying wish. And it's, this this short story actually just kind of reminds me that it's, it's just a small chapter of... His memories, basically, just it's probably. I mean, the the sequel to To the Moon, which is apparently Finding Paradise, I think, or that's probably what it's going to be named. But it just seems that that is just that one certain the problem, maybe even the very beginning as to why he. We don't even exactly know what his dying wish is, but. It probably has something to do with flying or or anything with birds really but yeah it's connected at the very least to say I'm just kind of I don't know the this the game is just this in the story is just so beautiful how it tells the story without even a single word And just the may the way that it makes you feel. All right, so let's go over kind of fast. So this guy, you can kind of in the beginning already sense that he has kind of this. He likes paper airplanes basically, so he kind of already has a a passion or something for flying in a sense, which is something that the bird and both the the, the boy can relate to because the bird um, flying just comes natural to him he, and the bird in general it's just always this this I feel that it's somewhat of a symbol of freedom a lot of people I don't know where but I think I've seen it on TV or something but just a lot of people that's that or just in general when they stay when they're asked what kind of animal would you be? And it, it's most most of the time troubled people who who ha, who have a, a life where they're just kind of not necessarily trapped, but just feel like they're they aren't able to do whatever they want to do. That that the general answer to what kind of animal would you be if you want wanted to if you had to choose one, it would most likely be a bird because it's just the freedom that you have with with the fact that you can fly, you can go anywhere you want, and just the I would imagine I mean I've never flown myself before in not an airplane so I don't know exactly what it feels but I imagine that it just feels like I mean it's just you in the air like flying I don't know it just it for some reason just kind of means freedom to me I don't know why but it probably does uh, does that way for a lot of people but yeah so the bird is injured he rescues the bird and they it, it really is this kind of story of unlikely friendship and in the beginning you can also tell that this guy at least I, I kind of felt that he was sort of an outsider uh, the kids wouldn't really play with him and then the bird kind of especially afterwards when he actually um, I mean he played with the bird there's so many you always see these memories popping up as well and he actually kind of he treated it as a pet played games with him kind of the 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 catch as you would normally do with dogs it's the thing that he did with the bird as well and then he brought it to school and that I just kind of felt like it it brought the boy somewhat out of him out of him him out of his shell and that way he actually I mean later on you saw that he he had friends at school and and such but you just kind of feel like without the bird I mean even though the bird has given him that without the bird it doesn't really mean that much to him until he until the very end where he just kind of realized that or just finds out that the bird is actually okay I don't know what actually what happens to him you just kind of see another bird pick the bird up and then he flies away and you realize that it's the the other bird that you see at the exact same place where you meet well, I, I named our bird Tweety, but yeah, that we're just going to call it Tweety. But it's the exact same bird. It was kind of blue slash grayish. And it, it's just, he rescued the, the bird as well when they fell. 
on their journey on the paper airplane and man that teacher was mean and the uh, from like the pet uh, pet hospital woman she was mean too well not really mean but it's just the bird meant so much to him that he just didn't want to give it up and that kind of kind of kind of thing because it, it was his friend you know it was it was his friend it was his best friend so that woman probably just wouldn't understand it and he would be like give me that bird no don't take him away from us I don't know it's just it's just a beautiful story and Freebird games in general I've actually played a, played a couple of their games and they're all pretty pretty dang good so it was a pleasure to play this one and I hoped you enjoyed it as well and yeah what this game mostly has done for me is just kind of make me anticipate the upcoming game Finding Paradise or To The Moon 2 or just kind of the sequel to To The Moon make me anticipate it more and kind of actually make me want, somewhat want to replay to the moon again but damn that was good anyway yeah this is going to be the end of this video I want to thank you all so very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did because this was definitely a fun game to play and definitely a fun story fun experience so thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe for more I'm doing other games as well so look forward to that and yeah peace